Hey Gemini, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well, each and every one of you. We're going to take a look and we're going to see what is going on for you guys' love. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. If this hits home, be sure to um, hit that notification bell, right? Um, if you want a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. You can also go to my Etsy shop. I have my personal readings there. Um, I also offer email tarot readings for those of you guys who don't want to pay for a whole love tarot spread. You only have one or two questions, so get your questions answered. Um, Three-day turnaround, approximately. Okay, it's a much more affordable option. All right, I'm going to jump in and do some oracle cards first, okay? I also have my tarot and oracle decks on Etsy if you guys are interested, okay? All right, Gemini. What's going on with Gemini in love? Any messages for my Geminis out there? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini in love, vulnerability, okay, and we have cooperation, all right, so there's a situation here where someone here, I'm getting, they're afraid to be vulnerable with you, okay, they're afraid to be open, um, this is someone who may not be as, um, emotionally unavailable some of you guys this is regarding their emotions okay they're not vulnerable um so it's just the situation is challenging someone to take the risk to be emotionally available and open so some of you guys are dealing with someone who's emotionally closed off someone who's very guarded they're not letting you in um so that's what i'm seeing here we also have cooperation it says there will be an opportunity where the parties will set aside differences and collaborate. So there may be someone here who's not cooperating with you, okay? It could be some kind of connection you have, romantic relationship, whatever it may be. Um, and a lot of you guys, there's something here where you guys have to put aside your differences, okay? If you may not agree on something here, maybe in the past or something here where you guys didn't see eye to eye. And it's telling me a lot of you guys, you may have an opportunity to come together, collaborate and cooperate with each other, okay? Especially if that's been a challenge for you and this person, Gemini, okay? So let's get some clarity. Let's get uh, the energy. Let's see what the energy is surrounding this connection and see how these um, um, oracle cards play out. Okay, how these messages play out for you. The hangman. Some of you guys deal with the Pisces, the strength, Leo energy, and we have the two of swords. So it does look like where things stand between you and another person in your life, Gemini, is that things are a little bit stuck, okay? There's been some stagnancy here. But it's also giving you, Gemini, an opportunity to really think about what it is you want, how to move forward. Because I do see a decision having to be made. Some of you guys, Gemini, this two of swords is your energy, okay, as an air air sign, right? Um, you're having to make a decision, okay? And there's something here where you may be conflicted. You may not know how to move forward. A lot of you guys, you may be feeling as if you're blindfolded, okay? You're not seeing something very clearly. But spirit may be telling you to make a head of a heart decision, okay? Be strong through this. A lot of you guys have a situation here that's caused um, for you to uh, be strong, okay? So what is... What it's telling me is that a lot of you guys, there's a decision you have to make in order to get unstuck, in order for something to be, um, get out of this hangman energy, okay, with someone in your life. So give me the past energy here. In the past, we had the judgment, we had the page of cups and the three of cups in verse. So in the past, it does look like there was also um, a big final, a final decision, okay? There could have been a decision someone could have made or something could have happened that brought some kind of finality to a situation between you and another person. Could be in a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What is telling me that I'm getting someone here um, may have felt sorry for something they could have done or they didn't do. Some of you guys, the page of cups is here because this is someone here who's giving you very little give you very little in terms of their emotions, right? They were not emotionally available or expressive. They didn't really tell you how they uh, felt. Some of you guys in the past, I'm getting you met someone new. There's something here about you guys are dating, okay? Um, and you haven't been able to be with this person for some time. Maybe there's been some kind of um, delays, okay? The three cups and verses tell me a lot of you guys, you have not been able to come together and celebrate. Um, but this is someone here you do care about, Gemini. Tell me you do care about this person. But something could have happened where um, someone could have held back, okay? Or someone is holding back, okay? So let's see. Let's get some more clarity here. Um, some of you guys, it is a third party, okay? Getting in the way of you guys coming together at this current time with the three of cups and reverse. 
on your mind, Gemini, it's a death card, Scorpio energy. A lot of you guys, there's some kind of change that you're wanting. You're wanting some kind of change of a situation, transformation, because the wheel is in reverse. A lot of you guys, it's telling me that something has not been moving forward, okay? It's almost like it's out of your control. A lot of you guys, you've been wanting some kind of change in a forward direction, but it's almost like no, no matter what you do, something is um, not moving. Something has not been moving in the right direction regarding this person, and the fool is in reverse. Some of you guys, I'm getting, you're dealing with someone who has some trust issues okay could be a um could be a pisces could be a scorpio could be any sign but you know it's telling me that um someone is reluctant to move forward someone is hesitant um and it's requiring someone to take a risk someone to um we have this right the situation challenges someone to take a risk someone is having to take a risk and put themselves out there because i do feel whoever you're dealing with gemini there there was an expression of love or a proposal of some sort, but I'm getting that it's very, very little. It's very small. And um, some of you guys, your person may have to take that next step to open up in order for something to move forward because I'm getting to a point where things are stuck and stalled, okay? It wants, someone has to take that next step, okay? And I'm getting it's your person. So let's see what's in the environment. The Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys, you are having um, someone come to you with some kind of communication as to why they were not able to fully invest when they had the opportunity, okay? There's someone here who may have had a lot of responsibilities. They may be um, um, invested in other things. They may have some other... Uh, you know, situations that they're taking care of. And it's telling me that they have not been able to put in the effort and energy into this connection with you. And there could be some kind of communication coming out about that. I do feel like this person has a lot on their plate. They may wear many hats. They may have many roles, okay? The Two of Pentacles is indicating of some juggling going on. It may not be necessarily juggling people, it could just be the fact that a person has a lot um, on their plate, that they're balancing, right? There's a lot of responsibilities. And I feel like whoever this person is, it's telling me that right now, it may not be the opportunity for them to be able to fully invest in you or move forward. The Ace of Wands is coming out in reverse. So it's not, it's telling me that this person actually does care about you. They desire something, but for, it's for some reason, this person is not able to take action towards you and get something up and running. And I'm getting a very unstable energy. It's like they want to, but then they know that they have to come in and be consistent with you. They know that they would have to, um, really put an effort to make something move forward for the long run. And I'm getting the energy that they can't because there's something here about this person not being able to invest or be consistent, okay? And we also have the two pentacles. So going back and forth. There's something here about this person's instability. And it may not have anything to do with you. Some of you guys are just not in a place where they can really wholeheartedly give to a relationship right now. Now, the outcome, we have the six of pentacles in reverse. Oops. Y'all, I did not mean to use this deck. Hold on, y'all, okay? Let's get my other deck before I clarify with this deck. I didn't even shuffle that one. All right, let's see what the outcome looks like for you guys. Gemini, the outcome for Gemini. The Five of Cups came out. The Lovers in reverse. And we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. So again, there's definitely um, a very strong connection that you have with someone. The Lovers card is here, Gemini. But it's coming out in reverse because there is a decision that someone here may be making in the near future. And it's telling me that it's like, I can't. I'm hearing I can't just yet. Um, there is something here that's challenging someone to let down their guards, to open up, um, and fight for this, okay? We have the Five of Cups. There's a situation here, um, that your person may be reflecting on and thinking that I feel bad, but I can't do it right now, okay? I feel, I, I'm regretful. I'm regretful that I can't be there for you. I'm regretful that I can't be that person you need me right now to be. So I do feel like this is someone who is may have two things going on. They may have issues of being vulnerable, but they also may have a lot going on in their life where they can't really be that person for you. So I feel like this is someone here that may still, um, you know, be around in your life, but I'm getting the energy that this connection may not come together the way you want it right now, Gemini, okay? So let's get some more clarity. Things are stuck, hangman, right? There's some stalled energy here. Tell me more about the hangman. Why are things in hangman? Ten of Swords came out in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and the Queen of Cups in reverse. So some of you guys are the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that you're connecting with. 
But it's telling me that someone here in the past could have gone through a very difficult um, uh, situation, difficult ending. Ten of Swords could have been a betrayal. Someone could have felt like I got stabbed in the back. Someone betrayed me. And that could cause someone to not fully invest in a situation. The Seven of Pentacles and versus like, I can't, I can't do it right now. I can't invest wholeheartedly. And I do feel someone could have gotten hurt or someone may be unavailable emotionally because the Queen of Cups is coming out in reverse. So there is something here going on. I do feel like it's your person. Give me the recent past. Recent past, we have the Seven of Cups in verse, the Four of Wands in verse, and the Nine of Swords in verse. In the past, it does look like there was a lot of confusion regarding um, home situation. Um, it could have been a personal home situation. This is typically about domestic harmony and bliss. And it's telling me that someone's home life was not together. And it could have caused a lot of confusion about their feelings for you, Gemini. This is someone here who had a lot going on. There could have also been a divorce here for some of you guys. There could have been a lot of stress um, coming from a divorce or some kind of marriage in a past that someone was in and it may make them hesitant or fearful um in giving to a new connection so some of you guys are dating someone it could be a new connection page of cups it could be someone that you're newly dating but i'm getting they have a lot of baggage here okay i'm getting some kind of baggage and fears of really uh, moving forward and so some of you guys you're dealing with someone who may like to date and get to know people but they don't want it they don't want it to go but so far okay and then kind of hits a point where it's like it doesn't move forward and becomes stagnant and stuck. And I'm getting that's what happened for you and this person. Now, we have the Seven of Cups. This is someone who's becoming more clear on, um, you know, what they want. There's a decision here. A lot of you guys, you've been wanting to make with this person or you've been wanting them to make a decision about you, about um, moving things forward, about getting more serious, being exclusive. And I'm seeing that it brought a lot of stress to this person um, or you were waiting for this situation to move forward and it brought a lot of stress to you, okay? Because you couldn't figure out what was going on or why something wasn't coming together, right? The Three of Cups came out in the verse. It's telling me that... A lot of you guys, you may be in separation from them. And I'm getting like, I'm sorry I couldn't be that person for you. I'm sorry I couldn't be there. Some of you guys, you were waiting for an apology, okay? Um, that's what it's telling me. Now, on your mind, Gemini, you're feeling like, why isn't this working out? Why aren't things moving in the forward direction in my love life in general, right? There's some kind of ending here that you're experiencing, Gemini, with the death card. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. In the four pentacles in the verse, a lot of you guys are being challenged to let go of something here because, again, there's a lot of burdens. There's some kind of ending of some sort with the ten of wands and the death card. And a lot of you guys, I'm getting, you've been incredibly patient. The knight of pentacles, you're really investing in this, hoping to invest in this connection and hope that it will grow and you will move forward with this person. So a lot of you guys are being... Um, challenge to let go of something here because someone's unwillingness to move forward or trust the process i'm hearing trust the process because this was a divine connection of some sort and a lot of you guys you were ready you were invested knight of pentacles you were really hoping that this would really move forward and um it could have been very very slow i'm getting a lot of you guys you're dealing with someone who was very cautious for some reason very cautious about moving toward you um, but there was a lot of stability here. And that's the thing that, you know, really sucks is that there was stability and great potential. But unfortunately, Gemini, you can't do it alone. Okay? You can't do it alone. And so there's a lot of burdens here and having to let go for pentacles and verse of something here that you thought was very promising. So let's see. There's some kind of communication coming in from your person. The lovers. The Five of Swords and the Hangman in Reverse. A lot of you guys, there's some communication coming in from, um, it could be a Pisces, but it's regarding the challenges that they're having with this connection, okay? The Lovers is here. Obviously, this is someone here that does look at you, Gemini, as their person, their partner, um, someone here they, they really had a close connection with. And they're, they're having to come to you with some kind of communication as to why things were stuck. This is someone here who does want to, um, this is the energy of, you know, getting unstuck, right? They don't want to be in this hangman energy, but there's some conflict. And a lot of you guys, they may be coming to you with some kind of conflict that they're having regarding moving forward with you. And it may not be anything to do with you. Some of you guys, it's a personal conflict going on in their personal life, a family matter, um, okay, or something here that they're, they didn't tell you. So something regarding communication. Some of you guys, there's some conflict regarding work, okay, or their career. Now, we have the Two of Pentacles coming out. What's this Two of Pentacles about? Three of Cups in verse, the King of Wands in reverse, and the Seven of Wands. Some of you guys, there were some blocks because of an 
fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, okay? There could be a third party here, three of cups in reverse. And I'm getting your person also could have had to decide between you and another person, Gemini, because I'm getting a lot of you guys, there was some blocks. There was this person being guarded because a lot of you guys, they weren't sure on what they really wanted. I'm getting the energy of someone was not very 100% sure of what they really wanted, what did they want to move toward because there was some kind of um, other third party situation here. They have not closed out, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. So let's see what the outcome is. We have someone who is really regretful that they couldn't be something here for you, Gemini. Uh, regrets about a past situation. They cause a lot of hurt through a sword, a betrayal of some sort. A lot of you guys, it's just the emotional pain that came with um, letting go of this connection. They feel really regretful that they did something here that could have really hurt you, right? So the other outcome, what, other else, what else do we need to know for Gemini here? Six of Pentacles and a Magician in Reverse. A lot of you guys, there is an energy of them really wanting to be that person for you. Um, equal give and take, reciprocity, right? They know that Gemini, they can't be that person. So the better thing for them to do would to be remove themselves from the situation here instead of breadcrumbing you, giving you less than what you deserve. Um, and so a lot of you guys, you have someone who's really being honest and saying, I can't manifest this with you. The Magician's coming out in Reverse. I can't do it right now. I'm not in a position to give you what you need. I'm not in a position to fully commit, right? So a lot of you guys, I do feel that that's something to uh, commendable. That's something that you can respect about this person um, because the lovers in reverse. Tell me more about the lovers. Nine of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Swords in reverse. A lot of you guys, there's just too much, too many forces against um, this person right now. It could be something, again, personal issue. Eight of Swords in reverse, they're trying to break free from something that could be holding them back. Fears um, or something here, self-limiting thoughts and beliefs about their inability to um, move forward and commit or something. There's something here that your person is having to deal with. And so they are kind of giving up and um, letting go of this connection right now. But I don't feel this is because like, they didn't care about you. A lot of you guys, they just felt... Felt like I can't be that person right now for you, Gemini. Okay, so that is what I'm seeing. Gemini, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you resonate with this reading. And if you want a personal reading, all the details are in the description box. All right, you guys, I'll take care. Bye.